We use this technology every day, but we never knew its origins or how it worked. Did you know the first relay controlled or signal controlled elevator was created back in 1924 by Otis Elevator Company? Otis introduced a high-speed fully automatic elevator called an Autotronic Elevating System. Automatic elevators were first seen even in the 30s, but the predecessor for today's automatic elevators comes right from our friends Otis in the 1950s, which you can see here today. Relay-controlled elevators are the supercomputer for its time, basically the microprocessor in large form. This video is going to demonstrate and show you how they work so that way we could preserve their technology for future generations to come. This might be the last time you even see things like this, as most structures are replacing their elevators with newly computerized elevator systems. This is really cool. I hope you enjoy it. Run up to the penthouse, which is higher. So it, how does a glass elevator, they have glass elevators that go up to like the 30th floor of like skyscrapers. Well, that's like for industrial buildings or something like that, but over here. There's ones in Philly that like for hotels that are glass. Yeah, I know. That that glass elevator was really nice, though. I know. <laughs> I, I I know. It's a, I would love it though, because I'm an elevator enthusiast. You're probably gonna have to bleep a little bit. <laughs> beep beep beep. beep. <laughs> All right, let me turn some lights on for y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on the roof. I did make a small little short to this. Um, it's a beautiful evening. Um, we are currently up on the roof. Let, let, let me just sing you a song. When this old world starts getting you down and people are just too much on the roof. The song is Up on the Roof by Carol King, right? Yay! I'm so glad you got that. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful evening, but we're not here for the roof. We're here for something a little bit more fun. We're going to go climb this ladder here, <laughs> and hopefully, um, yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll make it. Um, I'm gonna have um, someone hold the camera real quick, because I'll go up first. So what we're checking out here is this 1950s Otis elevator. Um, what's really cool about it is we're never gonna see elevators like this anymore. They're they're literally made so much different now. This elevator has its own generator that generates its own power. It's called a DC generator, which is direct current. Um, it's all relay controlled. There's no computers at all. It's all just little relays and electricity and everything. And then of course you have the flywheel, which you know moves the cables and the counterweight and the motor. And then you have the floor selector. So it's really an interesting piece of tech, old fashioned tech. <laughs> and it still works to this day. And honestly, it probably will never break as long as they maintain it. Now getting to these places is what's difficult. So we're exploring. We're going up to the, well, this would be 10th floor, this would be the 11th floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't fall, ladies and gentlemen. That ladder is shaking like crazy. Drop it to the floor now, drop it to the floor. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So high electricity. You can hear it. You can hear it. Yeah. So then uh, you could probably pass me the camera. I'll put the door stopper in. All right, here we are. It's actually kind of scary. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up in the motor room. Just, let me just close that a little bit. All right, so basically what you're hearing right now, you're hearing these little clicky sounds, right? Let me make sure we're not locked in. All right, so right now the elevator's moving, um, which I was actually hoping would happen. I want people to actually use it. So. We'll just do a quick rundown of what we're seeing here. So, as you can see, we're up. The, now, you, you could tell it was a glass elevator because there's a nice glass window here. Over here, what we have is, this is the DC motor. So, electricity comes in from here, from here. Here's your main. This amps up the electricity and then amps it up to control this panel, which as you can see, that little fuse is no longer lit. I wonder why it was lit that night and now it's not. So, remember that was lit right there? It's yeah. not now. It's still electrified though. It is, it is still running and the DC motor is on, so it's working. But as you can see, it's very, very old. So all of the, this is what you call your, this is your microprocessor for its time. 
It's basically what a microchip does, but in large form. So all of these relays represent floors, buttons, and positioning of the elevator car. And this. You said it would click, right? Yes, yeah, so hopefully somebody's gonna use the elevator right now so you could actually hear the clicking. So as soon as somebody hits like a button on the outside, you'll hear a click. And then as the elevator is getting ready to move, you'll, you'll start to hear more clicks because it's basically saying, okay, elevator, get ready. You're going to floor seven now, and then someone else might be hitting another floor, and then you're gonna stop at floor six on the way back down. And so basically it's just controlling all that. So as you can see, everything is spring-loaded. So a lot of stuff is spring-loaded, and then these relays are the electrical contacts. You can get shocked if you touch them. As you can see, there is fuses everywhere. Nice big fuses there. You have a fuse there. Um, yeah, and pretty much all that. So over here, we'll take a look at the actual motor itself. Hopefully someone will use the elevator. I'm gonna zoom the camera out a little bit. So the motors, newer elevators do not have this big of a motor anymore. Um, this is really, they set this baby with a big crane. Uh, right here is the brake for the elevator, so this, you, you'll actually be able to see that move when the elevator comes to a stop. You have the shiv and, the, fl and the, the, the flywheel which holds the cables. That goes down to the side of the car which that is gonna hold the counterweight and then the elevator cables are gonna be somewhere around this area. And then you have, you know, your other situations over there. And then in the back, you'll see a tower. So that tower right there represents the building. So that, that tower you see back there. So that is the floor positioning sensor. So as the elevator goes up, there's a little car, now we can't get over there because it's too dangerous, but there's a little car that, that goes up and down that, and that tells it where the elevator is at all times. And it basically, oh, look, it's lit up. is it? Oh, the fuse lit up. All right, so see that little fuse lit up there. So there, it, there's a good chance that it, it someone could be getting ready to call it. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, so right now someone's getting ready to use the elevator. So I'm gonna go ahead and film the motor. So you're gonna hear a couple more clicks in a little bit. And there we go. So the elevator's moving. You can see the flywheel on the inside moving. And then if you look over there, you'll, there, there there's your floor selector going up. So that's representing the elevator. So right now the elevator's on the ninth floor at the top and we just heard it slam to a stop yeah. <laughs> yep so i'm hoping that they're going to go down because i really want to get a good picture of the the floor selector going down so every, you'll never see anything like this anymore ladies and gentlemen this is literally this is how the elevator worked automatically without having a computer i don't think we're gonna oh yeah here we go yep they're gonna go down here we go now he's going back down. And as you can see, it's, it's, like, it's like a corkscrew. And it spins and slowly goes down, which tells you where the elevator is. There it's going down. And you can see the wheels moving. And it looks like he's stopping on one of the, looks like he might have gone down to maybe floor three. And then we can, now as you can see, it came to a complete stop. And we heard the brake come on, which kind of shook the motor a little bit, which was pretty cool. So I, I think they're gonna keep going. Let's see if I can get the relays one last time here. So, there you can see one of them yeah, moving. They yep, there you see them moving. Yeah. Now the elevator's going back down. Just going down a couple floors probably. Oh, we're coming up, coming up to the top, yep. Yep, you just see the brake initiate. Now, yeah. now that, that brake just stopped all that weight. Like, and you you literally could feel the motor shake. Oh, I think he's gonna go again. Here, I'll show you guys the brake next. I have to feel yeah, somebody's actually helping us. All right, so let's take a good look at the brake when it comes to a stop. You could, so you could barely see it, but it, it, it did. It, it, yeah, and that, that literally closed that right down, yep. So ladies and gentlemen, that, that's pretty much all I could show you right now. I mean, this is it in a nutshell. I mean, here, he's getting ready to go again. <laughs> Boy, where are they going? My favorite part of the whole mechanism is the floor selector just because it's just so interesting. Like that literally tells the elevator where it is at all times. 
Let me get a more. Hopefully they'll go back down. I just want to get one more shot of that. So they're up on nine. There we go. They're going again. Yep, going down. There's the mini elevator going down. So there's a motor that moves that too, you know? So all of these things have to work in conjunction. So if one thing breaks, it will shut the whole system down, you know? So there's a lot of moving parts, but that's it. And that's your 1950s Otis elevator system. Completely automated, but yet runs completely off electricity and relays. There is no computer. People are pushing buttons left and right. See that? Now if, now if I turn the lights off, you will be able to see electricity. So let's turn my light off. Let's just give it a second. Most of them you could see some little sparks. Oh, the sparks up there. Did you see the sparks up there? Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll always see a little bit of sparkies. Yeah, above it. There you go. Oh, there yep. Go. Got some good sparks. Oh, right there we go. A yeah. little bit of lightning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is, uh, you know, we do this for you so you don't have to go and get yourself hurt exploring anywhere. We never recommend ever coming in places like this unless you're trained you know how, and, and you know what you're dealing with here. Um, at the end of the day, this technology needs to be taught to young people so that way we know that it existed because one day it's never going to exist. And it's very interesting how this all works. So, hey, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe. You know, Life Plus is all about reviews and how-tos and exploring. And that's what we do <laughs> now here. Now we got to figure out out of here. <laughs> out of here. For Halloween, it's good too. For Halloween, so what? What, what kind? Of, what, what kind of elevator do you think this is? This is a freight elevator. What? Which button works? These buttons work. No, no. Oh, so so we have to manually control the doors, right? All right, let's try this here. Can you hold the camera? Yeah. All right. So then you come inside, I guess. Are we? Are we going for a ride? Yeah. I'm scared. One and then. Okay, I'm actually scared because this elevator gets stuck all the time. <laughs> uh, this door is actually hard to close. I honestly think no one would ever hear us screaming. I will flip if we get stuck in here. <laughs> I smell the hydraulic fluid too. <laughs> so what do we hit? B? Yeah. B, B. B? Okay, going down. Yeah. Do we hold it? Oh no, it just goes No, down. it just goes on. Oh, this is cool. So this is what the other people see every single time? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. So let's just take a look what's out here. Oh, that, that runs pretty good. Literally in my five years of being here, I've never <laughs> ridden on this elevator. Are you serious? Yeah. This is a freight elevator. Oh yeah, the door locks work. All right, and then we come out here. Now, we now the, the most important part of these videos is the go going up because this is a this is what you call a hydraulic elevator. So it's not a cable elevator like ours over there. It actually has like a ram underneath that pushes it up and down. Oh, okay. Which is hydraulic. So we're down in the basement now. I, as you can see, there's different buttons here than the other one. But those so, don't work anymore. He said, oh, they don't work. No, you gotta manually do it like in there. Ah, oh, interesting, all right. So now we could go back up. Now, this one we have to stay quiet on because we, we want to really hear this motor. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go back up. Ooh, these are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a hydraulic freight elevator, so it's going to probably sound pretty cool going up. So let's listen. Don't mind my lollipop eating. All right. Get ready, we're going out. Be quiet. Yeah, that was actually more quieter than I thought it was going. It to. runs really good. Yeah, this runs better than our main elevator. It does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it kind of it over leveled. Yeah. Holy crap! We should, uh, we should take another trip. You want to? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do one more trip. One more. One more, and then we'll come back. We won't even open the doors. It runs really good. It's really smooth. It's very quiet. Let it, let us be the ones that break this. Oh thing. wow, you could see up into the shaft. Wait, oh, let's see if we can get the light on. Hold on. Um, here we go. 
Wait, you can't see anything. Oh, it's really hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how it looks when we're going up. Okay, yeah. Oh, I didn't even press it. Oh, you didn't? No. It just went up on its own? Yeah, I think they real did it. Wow. I bet you would. It's a Dover. Yeah, Do Rio's probably like, let me do my job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's the hydraulic for now, ladies and gentlemen.